In this video, I'm going to show you how to log into your IP security camera using Windows 10. Our IP cameras, or PoE cameras, have a built-in web server that allows a user to log in and access the plethora of features that a camera has to offer. Please refer to the features list on the camera's web page on our website as features vary between camera models. In order to access a camera's web interface, I'm going to want to use a web browser. Most IP cameras require Internet Explorer to use all of their features. Newer IP cameras do support using Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Safari. However, some features still may require Internet Explorer. In order to access Internet Explorer, we're first going to click the Windows key on our keyboard or click the Windows 10 Start menu at the bottom left-hand side. To get to Internet Explorer, I can type IE or fully type out Internet Explorer into the Windows 10 Start menu. To open Internet Explorer, I can click the Internet Explorer app. It's going to take me to the MSN homepage, and now I need to click on the address bar. For any browser that you want to access your IP camera with, you will need to use the address bar. And inside of the address bar, we need to type the IP address for this IP camera. This IP camera happens to have the factory default IP address of 192.168. Dot one, dot one oh nine. Again, that is 192.168.1.109. Your IP camera will have a label on its box telling you what its current IP address was when the camera was shipped, as well as the username and password. After typing the IP address into your web browser's address bar, you will then want to hit the Go icon or hit enter on your keyboard. This is going to point the web browser to the web interface for the IP camera. As I just mentioned, there will be a label on your IP camera's box stating its IP address, username, and password. You will want to use that username and password to log in to the IP camera. I'm going to type out the admin user and then type out the factory default admin password. To log into my camera, I can either press the enter key on my keyboard or click the login button. After logging into my camera using the credentials found on the box, I will then be presented with a please click here to download and install the plugin. Click that link to start downloading the web plugin. Internet Explorer will ask you if you are sure that you want to run this file. You're going to want to click yes to run the file. And then finally, it'll ask you if you want to run the program again, and you will want to click the Run button. Now click Yes to allow this app to make changes. It's going to install the plugin quickly. And now you want to make sure that you allow the plugin. Since I'm going to be accessing this camera more than once, I'm going to click on the Carrot button, and then click Allow for All Websites. Finally, it will ask you if you want to open the plugin and allow it to run. You want to click Do Not Show Me this warning for this program again, and then click Allow. It's going to refresh the Internet Explorer browser back to the login page. I'm going to re enter the default factory password and click Login to log back into my camera. So, as you can see, after clicking the Login button, we were able to access our IP camera and access the live feed from our camera. Now that we've accessed the web interface, one of the common things that people need to do is find the P2P or QR code serial number. In order to locate that, we'll first click the setting tab at the top. We'll go into the network submenu. Inside of the network submenu, there will be an access platform option. And in here we can see there is the P2P tab. Here we can see there is a P2P serial number and a P2P QR code. You will also want to make sure you click to enable the P2P method and click the Save button. Hopefully this video helps you access the web interface of your IP camera. Thank you for watching.